Hello! You can't fully see me because I'm already wearing the headset. Right, Ian Gibson? That's right. I can see... Oh, you have made some improvements. Oh, I you know, you know... That looks good. You know who didn't put you off of OBS Ninja? This guy. Knew I was missing something. Oh boy. Yeah, I can see zip ties hanging off. Oh, yeah. I guess you've never seen the whole setup. Yeah. I put zip tie back here. I zip tied all the cables together so they wouldn't go everywhere. It's, yeah, it's, it's a smart, smart thing to do. It's a smart. It's a smart. Uh, today, folks, we are playing some Phasmophobia, a relatively unknown game. Um, but, you know, we figured we would check it out and see what all the hubbub mm -hmm. was about. Um, and get in here. So I'm going to play the tutorial and then Ian's going to uh, join me afterwards. Mm -hmm. And we're going to play some actual missions. Um, um, oh. Just to just to lay it out here real quick. Will asked me to... We weren't sure if the tutorial was needed or not. And so he asked me to play it before the stream to see if it was necessary. I did not finish the tutorial because I got too scared. You didn't finish the tutorial because you got too <laughs> scared? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and the funny thing was I was like... I'm off stream. I can just blaze through this. I'll leave the lights on. It's going to be fine. And then I got about five minutes in. I was like, no, 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 no. Right. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. Whiteboard. Got the oh, non violent like ghost that you can use. Oh, good. Non violent. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the first sentence of the game is we found a non violent ghost. Oh, no. I already That's don't want to do this. Um, I'm going to help you out just because of the tutorial. you got to pick some stuff up with me. Right now? Yeah, so you should pick up the video camera. You should pick up a flashlight. You should pick up the journal, and then you should pick up the key on the table. It didn't do a good job of telling me that. Yeah, it told me none of that. Very rainy out. Oh, I already don't like this. Why is there I know, a camera? Right? It's it's very accurate. You know what I mean? The feel of it and the look of it. Oh, you have to hold down and then you can. Oh. Well, it said well, non. It said non-violent ghost, so I'm not that concerned. Still spooky, man. You're in somebody's house. Yeah, but nothing's gonna get me. Lost in the Ghost Hunters Training Guide. This guide will show you how to become professional, professional ghost hunter. Professional ghost hunter. I only have a little bit of drop frames. Um, use the TV remote to go to the next slide. Was the shift D to crouch? Oh, B. Hello. I am talking. That's local push talk. Oh, local push flashlight. Global push to talk is B. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Q. Journal J. Our investigation will have around five minutes before the ghost will anger and drop your sanity faster. Use this time set up ghost equipment and find the ghost. For today, though, you don't have to worry about that. Set up a video camera inside the ghost's room, then head back to the truck and watch the CCTV monitor. Grab the ghost writing book and place it inside the ghost's room. If the ghost writes on the pages, then write it on the last page of the journal. Are you not reading all the way through? It says, if not, go to the next screen. Yeah, I know. No, let's. We gotta go do these things. Oh, how do we so go, go back? set up the camera? I don't think you can. So go set up the camera in the garage. Oh, not this the is nursery. Where I, this is, no, I think it's the garage, isn't it? Because it said the garage. The ghost is in the garage. This oh, is so where I conked out, by the way. This is where I I left. It said nursery. Oh, okay. We'll go do the nursery then. I don't want to go to a nursery. I know. Hello. 
Oh, sweet rig, bro. Day. Did you see that? Come back to the PC real quick. Look at the front of it. Day, bro. Day. I really don't like this at all. I know. What'd you say, Karen? Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh I'm so happy the lights are working. <laughs> Just turn all the lights on, please. Thank you. Whew. Uh, oh, budgicles. All right. Oh, it's I cold in here. Cause there's a ghost. Ah! It looked like you could put the camera on the wall. Oh. Um, how do I put things down again? And it says F. I can hear her. <laughs> okay. Now you go back to the truck and you can look at the camera feed. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so I know, much. Right? I know. I hate this. This is the worst video game. Why is this <laughs> number one on Steam? Oh boy. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Keep that closed. You gotta. You gotta wait for an orb. Wait. Wait. Huh? Uh. What'd you do? Oh, just closing the door and the game. <laughs> I just closed it because I was scared. Oh, it probably does. Hey, that training was easy. I think we should finish the training because I feel like there's a lot of stuff here. We okay. actually got to learn. Let's go back in. <laughs> I honestly didn't mean to do that. We've Living room. Ooh, grab that spirit meter up top. I can't. I don't. I have too much I'm holding to. Okay. So what was the order? It was camera, and then it was journal. Yeah. Let's go read the TV and see if it says nursery. It didn't. It was living room. This. Helpful, because this is the living room. Oh, it said the ghost is in the... Oh, so that changed, because in my tutorial it said the ghost is in the garage. Okay. Oh. I heard that, too. Well, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm not playing this for extra life. You guys can play it. I'm not playing it. I really... Oh, Karen, don't make noise, please. Can you come sit next to me? I'm terrified. Set okay, up a video so camera, I... but you can't talk. Head to the ghost room, then head back to the truck and watch the CC. Wait, you can't have Karen there. That's cheating. I'm not cheating. She's not actually. You be, be, I don't have anybody with me. You gotta be alone. Yeah, I am alone. Oh, I keep thinking that thing is a pair of legs. Hello. I like that it keeps the thing off. Oh. That audio design's pretty good, though. Yeah. Okay, don't. So, in mine, after a couple minutes, the car horn started going off in the garage. Oh. Hello. Wait for a spirit orb. I think there might be a spirit orb. What is that top left? Is that the clock on the wall? Clock on the wall. Alright. Maybe go do the journal? Clock just blinked. What was... Mm. Mm. Ian, ghosts aren't real. Don't worry. Oh, light uh. turned on. Yeah, we haven't seen the orb yet. I, I think go... Uh... 
I don't want to go back in, though. I know. I know, buddy. You're here. What? What? Did... Like, I said at least you're here and my Siri went off. Damn, this game's haunted. Oh, I was freaking out. I thought the TV was, like, doing random things, but it's just the distance. I'm just closing my eyes until I get to the TV. You're here. You're good. If you spot one, write it down. If not, then grab the ghost writing book and place it inside the ghost room. If the ghost writes on the pages, then write it on the last page of your journal. Oh. This is the ghost room. Yeah, put it down. And now. Hello, please write on this. Hello, please write on this. Flashlight. You have to look at it. You can't go back to the truck. You're not going to see it from the truck. Oh. Like it's just going to like start writing on it. Have you said hello yet? No. How do I say hello again? V? V, yeah. Hello? Anyone here? Write in the book. Please. Oh. Okay, I don't think she's doing the book. Can you hit J for journal? I just want to see what it is. Oh, nice. Oh, I don't want to do that. Well, there's cold. I know there's cold. That means you're in the room. In the right room, I think. Yeah, but some, some, one of the things is cold breath. I only know because I just watch people put it. What does cold breath mean? It's one of the, like, signs of, like, like that you put as, uh, what you call it? As like uh, evidence. Oh, we'll put it in your journal then. Chapter seven. Freezing temperature. But I gotta still check with the. I don't like that. There's activity. Ah. I mean, we've seen the activity, so. Spirit box time. Uh oh. Oh, what? I'm, why am I drop, dropping so many frames? I, uh. Do I hold it or do I put it on the ground? I, I think you ask it questions while it's on. No, you can hold it. Uh, Karen's have put it on the ground. Do I have to hold V to talk? Hello, yeah. how old are you? I'd say four. Where are you? How old are you? I don't like this, Ian. Ian, I don't like this anymore. Will, 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 yeah? you have a veto. You haven't used your veto yet. Oh, what if we vetoed this game? What if we just vetoed it? Imagine the things we could play if you just vetoed this. Oh. We could play due process right now. I don't have it yet, but... I could give to you... We, we, Will, there's no... If you Where just, are you? You know what? Next. What does next room mean? Did he say next room or did he say next? Oh, but I don't want to be in this room anymore. Put put the evidence in your journal. Karen, that was the meanest thing you've ever done to me. She, she touched my other shoulder with a duster. I know, I did that to you when you were playing with your friends. 
spirit box. Okay, what's next? What's the particular say? Oh! Oh, okay. Oh! 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 I keep hiding behind the blinds. Oh! What'd you say, Karen? I don't know. No, no, the lights are all turned on. Grab the UV torch. I don't think I can leave. Well, it's a yeah. non-violent ghost. That means the ghost isn't going to show up, right? It's still terrifying. I gotta close my eyes. Let's, let me know when I'm out the door. You're out the door. That's not true. Oh. Oh, no. man. We gotta veto this game, man. We got 44 minutes left. I don't know. This is awful. This is genuinely the worst thing ever. Remember how we were looking for a break during Extra Life? Well, I think we just found one. I think this... No, I think this is would be... Could be better with people who aren't terrified. <laughs> no, I think it's worse. It's like if you're afraid of heights, it's not better if there's somebody there calling you chicken shit. <laughs> you know? What am I looking for? The UV light? Yeah, it's right there. Does the lights have to be off for the UV light to work? Probably. No? Karen says no. Light switches? How do I crouch again? See? Yeah. Yeah, I got to turn on. Oh boy. I don't know where the switch is. What was that? What was that glowing on the wall? I think it's down. Oh, maybe it's just the edge of the book. It looked like the door to the basement was glowing. Look at that. Oh, I don't think it's actually glowing. Oh. Oh, I don't see. That's yeah, not really a glow. Oh, that's not Something the right on the counter. Bread. <gasps> they wrote bread. Where's the... I can't find the light switch. But there's nothing on it. What does the TV say? Let's go check the TV again. It says, if not, go to the next. Doors, windows. Whoa. My heart was, was pounding. That? Is that a thing? I don't know. Just keep playing. What do you say? So, Karen, I can't hear you when you whisper so quietly, but don't. Yeah, and this, the stream can't hear her either. Um, grab the EMF reader from the truck. Okay, I'm going to get the EMF reader. Closing my eyes. Going outside. Oh. Whew. Okay. EMF. hear the uh, Karen's frustration and how terribly I'm playing this game. <laughs> it's very good. Oh, well, I just saw this light turn on. Yep. That means you can check that light switch you found. Oh, yeah. Oh, it went up. Check it with the EMF reader, yeah. Oh. Oh. They said if it gets up to red, it's 
so where else were the interactions happening? I just don't want to. I just don't want to do any of this. You gotta find the ghost. I don't like this. I think I you gotta really... use the the EMF reader and go find things that the ghost has been messing I, with. But I don't wanna That's You the can thing veto. I, I don't wanna do that. The great thing about the veto is you get to pick what we do for the rest of the stream. Wow. No fingerprints. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna leave. Do what? Oh, I'm just gonna, like, go throw up in the car for a second. <laughs> that's an evil building. I oh. know. This is too spooky. That's... Oh, my, my sanity. Okay, let's check the journal. I, you know, I'm gonna say EMF. I can't, because it's EMF level 5. Yeah, it's gotta go red. Okay, so... So I think you have to check your journal, then. Like, if you... I'm assuming it's if you have the three evidence, then you can check based on that what this what the ghost is freezing temp um oh here we go yeah you see it like spirit box ghost writing Another star of the beat yeah spirit nothing smudge sticks on the spirit will stop spirit box fingerprints and ghost riding. We didn't get any of that. Freezing and spirit box. Great. No. No fingerprints. But I, I'm saying we, we, I mean, we could go try to check for fingerprints again. No, go back to Banshee. Oh no, Is sorry, it, never mind. Wasn't EMF? No, you were time. you were checking for fingerprints with the UV light. You didn't see any. Yeah. I think it's spirit box, freezing temperatures. We don't know what the third one is, but we think it's EMF because you didn't really check EMF. Yeah, so let's do that. Well, no, you. this isn't going to get you anything. You have to go through to the ghosts and read it based on the evidence to find out what it is. So you see like the bottom? Yeah, the no, I know. I'm just putting in it so that was what sort of ghost orb. Oh see there is none. But if it's freezing and and spirit box then it, has it has to, to be, be fingerprints. Or ghost orb. ghost orb, or ghost writing, ghost orb. writing. Oh, we didn't see any ghost orb on the camera, but maybe let's check both of those and see what it says to do to them. You go back to the ghost page, because it tells you what to do. Oh, oh, so we sorry, can right. skip ahead. Oh, and do I didn't. What we want to do. I don't think we have to. Do we have to do stuff? I thought we just had to leave. I don't know. What does the page say? What does the whiteboard say? 
That's oh, it. I guess we go back to the slideshow. But let's check the journal in here. Let's go back to the journal. Now go to the, go all the, the way. There's there's like three ghosts that it's possible, right? So let's go through the ghosts that are possible. Ghosts are possible are Wraith. Okay, so wait on Freight. Wraiths have a toxic reaction to salt. We don't have salt. Next one. Um uh, Mayor. Mayor. Turning the lights on around the mayor will lower its chance to attack. So these are just kind of weaknesses. Then... Spirit uh, box. Demon. demon. Asking a demon successful questions on the Ouija board won't lower the user's sanity. Have we a Luigi board? Well, I guess... Well, let's just go back to the TV and see what the TV says. Okay, let's go see what the TV says. Or... We could play another game. Or wow, this is scaring you enough. Yeah, but you man. just don't want to play it. It's scary. It is pretty scary. I don't know how much of that is because I was just playing this like two hours ago. I, I think I would still definitely be spooked, even if I hadn't played. Yes, I, I guess we have to guess. Okay. Can I just guess and leave? Yep. That's exactly All right, what I'm so going to do. Which evidence gathering tool do you feel like you didn't do enough of? I feel like you definitely did ghost the UV the ghost writing. So let me Is that demon? Oh see now I can discover it. So, Ghost Orb, it definitely isn't, because we looked for a while. Yeah. Ghost Writing definitely isn't. And then... So, fingerprints... Let's do I fingerprints. Think... You want to yeah, do fingerprints? Yeah, because there's no EFF. There was no EMF level 5, yeah, right? Let's do that. And then we hit this. No, 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 no. Did you select the right ghost? Yeah, I did right. It, um, it only lets you select who the evidence matches. Oh, okay, gotcha. Welcome back. I've got uh, it was a mayor. Uh, what was what was mayor? Was that ghost orbs? Yeah. That's weird. Weird. Was that Maybe not the living room? The I don't know. Okay, well, Ian, it's time for you to hop in, right? No, I'm not playing. I thought that's what we were doing, Ian. I thought you were going to play this game with me. I thought so too, but guess what, Will? What? It's your spooky pixel year. Oh. And I was going to help you out, but now I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing it now. I'm not playing it for extra life. You're not going to play it for extra life. I am not going to play it for extra life. You have to play it for extra life. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, uh, wow. You, Karen, and Kyle. I'm not playing it. That's... Can you believe this guy's not going to play it for extra life? Too spooky. Wow, and you bought it, too! I can refund it. Oh, you can totally refund it. Oh, I should refund it. Maybe yeah, I did could you refund know, it. Uh, my nephew messaged me, and he was like, Hey, I bought Ghost Runner. It's too hard. I refunded it. And they said they're not going to give me the funds back until December 4th. Is what? there anything I can do? And I was like, no, I guess that's just like a security measure they have to make sure you're not refunding games too quickly. Is that like if you, I don't know if it's the first time you refund or if you have not a lot of stuff on your account, but Steam is like delaying the refund amount so people don't scam the system. That's, I mean, that's they're crazy. delaying the refund date. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Well, folks, No, I survived. You, you, no, you still have to play for 30 minutes. Okay, this is me playing. No. You have a veto, Will. Mama Lux. Sky Blue. 
This is by far. What are those pictures on the wall? Uh, that is of the truck. That is of a bad oh, boy. That is of this person in the bathroom. That is of this person in the truck. That is of a ghost. Oh, boy. In this room. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is the worst and the most successful feature we have ever come up with. Uh, you know, that's true. <laughs> Let's just right, wait well, out gotta, the rest of the no, half an you, hour here. <laughs> you gotta play. You gotta play or you gotta call it. Aaron's saying <laughs> she'll play the next half an hour. <laughs> no, that's not allowed. It's not allowed, Karen. I'm sorry. You have a veto. I can't. I can't veto. I made it the whole way. You were the baby. <laughs> really? You're the one hiding out in the menu, basically. Yeah, but you're the one who just quit Palmyra Orphanage. <laughs> yes, I did. Because that game was real spooky, yo. It was terrifying. I can't believe you can't. Why do I have so much money? <laughs> Karen's telling me it's her money. Stop talking, woman. Okay, uh, I guess. About the hunters asking for help. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> uh, I think you have to play this. You have to play this alone. Oh wow, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Them's the rules, buddy. This guy. Oh. What? Yeah. Look at all that equipment you get. Well, I guess I, that's what you had. I can't to. believe. Um, you know, let's go to the asylum. Wait, the asylum's huge. I was gonna say, do one of the smaller ones. No. I... I'm... There's a ghost removal. Recommended team? two. I, look at that. Recommended two, Ian. Yeah, you can do it, buddy. I Come on! Gosh, you're really letting me down. <laughs> wow. Well, look at difficulty amateur. Perfect. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, do I need to add anything else? That'd be good. Let's ready up. Please don't load so fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man you want to hear the real horror story ian what's that i started playing destiny again i saw and i <laughs> bought the, the new expansion i think we're back that was oogie can't wait to have to download the files and stitch them together I, I don't think the Elgato's on, though. Yeah, we're good on Twitch. Well, at least I got an ad. Hey, while you're doing this, I'm hey. going to run an ad. Right? Oh, we're back, though. Are we fully back? Fully back, folks. Yeah. All right, let's kick it. Okay. Ooh, what the spooky game? This is spooky. Did it not eat to pick things up. Oh, no, it is. There's. Uh, let's read the whiteboard. See what it says. Discover what type of ghost we are dealing with. Prevent the ghost from hunting with the crucifix. Have a member of your team witness a ghost event. Capture a photo of dirty water in a sink. That is like always on it. I done some more investigating for you. It looks like the ghost name is Daniel Anderson. This ghost also seems to respond to everyone. You should be able to use its name to anger it and get some paranormal activity. Make uh -huh. sure to refer to your journal and write down any evidence you make. Oh. 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 I can only pick up two items. 
Oh, I know. Oh, boys. I don't want to do oh, this. Look at that house. I, I dare you to just walk in the front door and yell, Daniel Anderson, I've come for you. Aaron in the chat says you are safe outside. I don't believe that. No, didn't Jan say he got killed outside? No, he got killed in the hallway. Hi, Forgot the flashlight. <laughs> I uh, I watched that stream. It was. If you want to see anything from this game, watch Jan's perspective because he dies and no one can hear him, so he just has an existential crisis and writes poetry. <laughs> Well, that light just went on. Oh, well, at least you can see inside now. The, oh, you have to go look at those portraits. <gasps> that light went off. Dan, I understand I've come for you. Uh -uh. Uh, I just got a hot tip from the chat. Press T while holding another object to light your shoulder. Flashlight. That doesn't work. You dumbass. Dan, I understand I've come for you. Flashlight. Anyways, folks, uh, I'm officially vetoing this game, so so let's, let's do something else. Um, holy oh, moly! I, I don't think uh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm not gonna return it because I feel like this game could eventually add more stuff and get better. So you know, I'm gonna hold it's out. It's never gonna get less spooky though. But I think it, I think I think this game would be a lot more fun with more people. I don't. It depends on your definition of fun. Oh, let me just. Oh, that was what do we wanna? Um, let me just throw some options out there. We can play due process. We could play Jackbox. Uh, we could, you know, you could just load up some RimWorld, show that off for a bit. Yeah. Um, let me think. We need. We need to talk about what Spooky Pixel Twenty Twenty One is because I don't want to go through this as the player again and i don't think you want to either that was so scary i know man i i don't even think with two people i don't because i feel like i would have been spooked looking at you move around you know imagine that but there's somebody walking around <laughs> oh oh my god that was oh. so let's play amnesia rebirth <laughs> <laughs> that, that, yeah that's definitely more low-key than than phasmophobia um what do i want to play um i don't even know well, well you're play playing some destiny, good old too. destiny 2 you... Uh, you want to man that game i, I just don't want to do an online game but i'll, I'll wanna... show it off at the uh studio that game runs so well on computers I hope it runs yeah, that it well on the Series X. Oh, it, I, it's okay. I'm gonna make a claim here. I bet that game is going to render at higher than 4K on the Series X. That'd be pretty good. I, I think they can do that easily. Uh, okay. Let me. I'll load up my Rim World. Show you my. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, another option. We could look at Gunpla. We just got to kill tw 19 minutes. 19 you just minutes? just got to fill out the stream however you want. Okay, let me... Game capture. Only problem is... Look at that, everyone can see it. Yeah, we just... We got to talk about what we're doing next year. Is it, Whoever it is that plays these games, I think the number one rule is they have to get scared. Yes. Like we can't have Karen do it because she doesn't yeah. get scared. And to be clear, that's not that's not us trying to be mean. It's just if you ever watch somebody who doesn't get scared play a 
a scary game. It, the scary game becomes it's like when I played Alien Isolation last year. It's not it's not fun. Yeah. All right. Show me off this rim world. Karen Karen, I promise you that we will still be playing this during extra life. Somebody will be playing it. I will be playing it. Ian won't be cuz he's a baby. Um so this is um <laughs> this is my village of uh I think I named it Mother nice. Base. We're the Diamond Dogs. Um I started with 3 people, then mm -hmm. a um Mega Sloth attacked at me and killed two of them mm -hmm. before I could rescue them. As the Mega Sloth ripped Rosie Rosaria's um, face off, Lorenzo, mm -hmm. who is her father, showed up out of the blue, and Ugh. he almost reached her in time to save her life, but she died. Oh, it was crazy. It was very, that's very that's cool, and that's what I call emergent storytelling. So the big thing, I know we talked about this a little bit off air. Um, this game is a lot like Dwarf Fortress, um, mm -hmm. but it's also different in a lot of ways. This has a a centralized like storytelling system, so yeah. I can uh, where. So might be my option. So there's storytelling settings. So right now I have it set to Cassandra Classic. She creates a story of events on classic, creating a curve of challenge and tension. She'll push you with dangerous events, then give you a breathing room, then come back and push you once more. And then there's different le levels of it. Oh, this is like driving the events. Yes. So then there's... That's neato. BB Chillax. She gives you a lot of time between disasters to build your colony. But she comes back hitting twice as hard the next time. And then there's Randy wow. Random, who just does random crap. And then there's all these different levels of it. Uh, and this That's is a the, really cool way of like personifying the different difficulty levels. Yeah, I really like that. Um, this is the planet, which oh, only has a continent on one side. Oh, so it's a little lopsided. A little lopsided. Is it called lopsided. Um, and then like it'll generate quests for you. So like I have this quest. You go find this crashed ship to try to get off this planet again. Um, so you can, like, get passage off world and all this stuff. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. There's a lot. Like, I kind of jumped headfirst in this game only knowing about Dwarf Fortress, so I really don't know everything this game has to offer. Uh, I built these little houses. Um, he's cooking some meals. I had these cows just showed up. And it said they joined. <laughs> it said some cows wandered onto your community and have asked to join you. It's <laughs> like, how are these cows asked to join me? <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, when there's like enemies, I can uh, highlight these guys. I can draft them. so They become military. And then oh, I have this little nice. yeah. little base over here that they hide in. There's traps um, mm -hmm. around the sides. The only problem is. These traps, uh, they can't, you can't build traps next to each other, so th some of the guys can actually sneak around them. So what I should have done is, like, done one there, there, and there. But, uh... Oh, okay. Funnel them a little bit, yeah. You live and learn. Oh um, yeah, he's cooking up some food. Not to, like, start strife or ask for an objective opinion, but, uh, what's, what does this game do better, and what does it do worse than Dwarf Fortress? Um, so far, like, better, it's, like, mouse controls, I can, like, fa do fast-forwarding, um... Yeah, you got, like, multiple UI elements up there. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. like it's most, like, the amount of time I put into it, I feel like it's mostly UI. Um, mm -hmm. just the fact that I can, I can click on this guy, look at his log, look at his gear. Like, all this stuff is yeah. in Dwarf Fortress, but it's a lot harder to find. Yeah, it's like 12 keystrokes away. Yeah. So I'm actually kind of looking forward for like the Steam release, uh, easing a lot of those pains for Dwarf Fortress. But also, I think mm -hmm. this, this game offers like... I In this game, I can really tell individuals what to go do versus Dwarf Fortress. 
you're always coaxing people to do things. They're like, hey, yeah. here's all these things. The priority's high. Versus this one, I can be like, hey, your highest priority right now is to go haul this rock away. Yeah. Or uh, I can be like, hey, force wear this these pants. Yeah. Um. And this thing is also again UI, like you have these uh, announcements that pop up over here. Dwarf Fortress has announcements, but you gotta go check them. So like this is telling me that both these guys are. I've gotten up to extreme break risk, which means they're about to snap. Yes. Um. So I just check out their needs. Their moods are really low. This writes everything out. So very low expectations. Minor passion for work. He was disturbed sleeping, minus one. My friend Sissy died, minus two. My friend Rosaria, Rosario died. Uh, Dole Barrick, hungry. So it's like all that different stuff. I like I like that it it has that listed out because it's almost like like eight without a table. You're like, okay, I know exactly how to remedy that. Yeah. Whereas sometimes, and I feel like Civ has tried to remedy this, but it's still has this problem where it's like happiness is like oh you, you this town has low happiness and you're like okay but what can i do to affect that whereas the descriptions it had there were like half of them at least half of them had clear cut like eight without a table i have a dirty flak vest it's like okay get him a table get him a new clothes you know yeah exactly Easy remedies right there so i'm gonna put a table right there and then put some chairs and the other cool yeah. thing is like i can so dwarf fortress has this but it's a separate you can do this in game but there's a separate dwarf therapist that helps it so yeah, like i, I can this. even though they're not good at it like i can make him do construction i can make them smiths and stuff like that or i can turn things off lorenzo when he goes and builds things most of the time it says botched construction and then he has to go get more wood and try again but he'll yeah. also level up as he's doing it um, and then you get the stuff where it's like Nico said something about taming cranes to Lorenzo even like the cows I can look at their um, social logs and stuff like I, I had a dog who also died in the great sloth attack um, that would like always like nuzzle up to people and then even one of these guys was like super depressed um, yeah, so his daughter died. So that's a yes, that's one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, eight without a table. Now I know to build a table. Unsightly environment. I can try to clean stuff up. Like all this blood yeah. over here. So while they're sleeping, I can do stuff. Is that a like, body? Do you yeah, need to bury that body? It's a enemy, so I'm not going to bury them. These are the two um, that died over here. Wow. You got a buzzer um, that fell asleep. And then... Uh, like I can schedule so some of these guys will have traits like if they're insomniacs I can make their schedule different uh, mm -hmm. and change everything so yeah that's kind of it I, I haven't gotten too deep into it to uh, really know that much um, mm -hmm. these cows are these cows just went and ate food that, eat the grass you cows oh is, that, um, is the food not locked up apparently not so Lorenzo here is milking the cow. Oh, he put milk there. I don't know what he, what is he making. Oh, he's making some simple meals. So uh, this is like the electric stove. To cover the electric stove, I hit bills here. I've got you can add a bill, which is uh, cook simple meal, cook simple meal times four, blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just make this ten times. So whenever they have a chance, they'll come here and cook a meal, or I can click on it and say prioritize cooking meat. And they'll just yeah. come cook them all. I'm growing some rice. Oh, so he's building now. Growing some corn here, and I'm growing some cotton here, because I need to start making like, winter's coming, so I gotta start making uh, warmer clothing. Got it. Star Wars reference. Yes, Star Wars reference. The eclipse just ended, so it was dark that whole time. Because there's an eclipse. Oh. Uh, which I totally yeah. forgot about. The 1st of September. Uh -huh. um, 25 Celsius out. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's also got really good music. It's like that twangy, like, 
Western music. It's got like some, I guess, Serenity vibes, Firefly vibes. Um, mm. Boom Rat self tamed. A Boom Rat has become tame. It is now designated as Boom Rat oh. 1. Jump to the location. Show me that boy. I'm sorry. I get out of There he is. Look at them. Oh, what's that on A his... female boom rat. I think they explode. <laughs> oh. Slaughter. Um, do you think Jake gets scared of games? I feel like maybe. I don't know about Kyle. I think Kyle Kyle's too manly to get scared of games. Yeah, I don't. Well, also Jake likes Soma a lot, and that terrified me. So what? What? what didn't we have a different idea? For My idea pixel? was to do actual in-person spooky pixel. Yeah, but that's. I feel like the problem with that is that a lot of that requires breaking the law. Like, for example, you're not allowed to go into Gettysburg after dark, the battleground. Yeah, but. A lot of people do do ghost tours and stuff there. I feel like we can um, find some. I oh the other idea the other idea I this one I'm a little bit more partial to is we do spooky pixel but we challenge people. You know, so we bring in somebody random. They're there. We're doing spooks around them. <laughs> I don't know. It's um, tough. We got a year to come up with it, but man. Yeah. I I forgot what I was in the middle of doing. Oh, so I was just gonna check. Now that they have a table. Eat without a table master. Well, I guess he still needs to eat. Yeah. Yeah, build that chair. Minor break risk. Or mood. Oh, maybe we should cook fancy. Bad idea. Oh, nobody has cooking skill eight. Yeah, I like that it tells me that. Okay. Like, a lot of Dwarf Fortress stuff won't tell you, like, it, it might tell you eventually when you go check it, but it won't be like, hey, you're doing something wrong which yeah again I, I think is a is a really big thing that um i don't know if that's going to be fixed in the steam release though but they're at like all that stuff will be added because it's mostly ui stuff like all that information is in dwarf fortress it's just not thrown in your face as well oh, oh okay gotcha i thought that was more one of those things where you could queue it up and it would just never happen, and the game does not explicitly tell you why it's not happening. Yeah, like, I used to have the problem where I would try to make more, then brew more plants for, like, beer and stuff, and they would always say, uh, like, uh, dwarf name unable to find, uh, un, like, unregistered plant matter or something. It's like, what does that mean? Parse that out for me, <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, that's so. good. I think that would be a lot better. Okay. Two things just happened. A vengeful child from Seoul Coalition is visiting the colony. He is named White Caro. He seems to have a few items for trade. Second manhunter pack. A pack of manhunting hares have entered the area, driven insane by a disease known as Scaria. They will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. They won't attack doors unless they see someone go through the door. Hide inside and you'll be safe. They also won't attack powered off turrets, so turn your turrets off to save them. The hares will leave the area in one or two days. You can hide or wait them out or fight them. Ian, should we fight them? Jump to location. I don't know how well armed are you. Only two of them. Take them out. Oh no, they're going after Caro. Yeah, now you gotta go save him. Okay. Bring him down here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my two boys up here. Hit draft. They're coming to fight the, the hares. 
Oh, he got one. Yeah. He's taking hits. We stunned him. <gasps> wow. Nicely done. Draft. Not haul. Okay, let's go trade. Sweet. Renzo. Oh, he's going to butcher these two bunnies. <laughs> Where's Nico? Heat up a little bit. Buenos dias, Nico. Okay, let's see what he's got. He's got pemmican, preserved, mashed, mixture of fat and plant food, component herbal medicine, smoke leaf joint, <laughs> drug improves mood. Yes, oh, I will know? take. Maybe he'll Two, forget his please. dead daughter. Um. Oh, and a oh, jacket. Two hundred fifteen. I don't have any wool or any. Okay. Uh oh. So he picked up that. I love that it just drops it on. Wait, someone go pick up the jacket. I prioritized it so he woke up and went and grabbed it. Oh. Um, <laughs> anyway, so that's Rim World. I, I want to do some more stuff on it. I, I might do a, like a little video series or something. What? Yeah. Excuse me. This guy's just eating at my table. Um, let me go ahead and see. Let's yeah, maybe you can recruit him. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Um, but folks, thanks for tuning in. Ian, another successful Spooky Pixel. Um, oh. I honestly, I could have kept playing Phasmophobia, but only if you had joined. Right. I, it wasn't as fun. No. Single player. Own up to it. That was a very scary game. No, I agree, but uh, you know, I know you vetoed. Uh, yeah, just, oh, to, just to me. just to help you Scary out there. Game. Scary game. Uh, how you feeling about Spooky Pixel 2020? I want to hear how you're feeling being on the other side since last year you were the observer and not the player. Your uh, informal ranking of the five games we played this year, Phasmophobia, what's the scariest, the least scariest, most surprising, etc. Give me the rundown. This I, is the end of Spooky Pixel 2020. I could do it again. It was fun. I li I kind of like being the player. Um, I could have done without. I think the GoPros lost its its gimmick. Maybe, yeah. I I think if we put it on the chest, if we if we got a really good yeah. three point like chest two shoulder rig, so it's right above. We'd have to move the microphone, but it's basically right above the keyboard, looking That's up at bad. you. I think that would be better. Um. So yeah, there's that uh, informal ranking. Scariest was close your eyes. Really? Yeah. Surprised by that. What was the first one I played? Uh, you know, what? let me pull it up. Yeah, pull up a list. I I don't remember any. Okay, let's go through in order just to refresh you. Five Nights at Freddy's, Close Your Eyes, Condemned Criminal Origins, Amnesia Rebirth, and Asmophobia. So I'd say scariness. Definitely close your eyes. Then probably Five Nights at Freddy's. Then Phasmophobia. Really? Yeah, Five Nights at Five Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's that high. Wow. Phasmophobia, then um, Amnesia, then Condemn. Actually, no. Condemn, then Am Amnesia. Amnesia was the, by far the least scary. Um... Yeah, and I then as far as my favorite, uh, I really, I really liked Condemned. I, I might actually go back and play that some more. I was thinking about that today. That was just like a really well balanced like horror action exploration game. Yeah, it was fun. Um, 
I mean, Amnesia Rebirth, I played a couple more times since we did the video, and I'm enjoying it, but I, I don't know how much further I'm going it. Um, the, the other two I really only beat because people were watching me play it, and it was kind of fun, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for next year. I'm ex I think we can figure something out for, uh, for funsies. It's a good, yeah. it's a good stream series. I like it. Eh, regardless it, of what form it takes. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's an incredible stream series. It's just, at least for me, it's, it's very strenuous for me <laughs> to play and slightly less to watch. Oh, so scary. It's a lot. Well, yeah. A lot. Folks, thank you. I'm sorry for the other. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of us, please check out our YouTube channel and also check out the rest of this Twitch channel. Uh, we have Extra Life coming up next Saturday. We'll be doing Extra Life. I'll be here. Uh -huh. I won't be here. I'll be at my studio, but I'll be doing Extra Life. It'll be a blast. At this time next week, we'll be doing some Jackbox already. It's going to be so much, so much fun. Um, and Tuesday, Tuesday, we are doing a little election day special for you. I won't spoil anything yet, but, uh, that'll probably start not quite sure yet. We haven't nailed out a time. It's going to start a little bit earlier and probably go a little bit later. So that's going to be a fun time. Then Thursday tentatively, I think we have server requests. Um, but I think we yeah, might push good. it. Oh, Okay. Um, they did announce the release of Shadowlands, but I really don't think that matters. Um, and then, yeah, next Saturday, Extra Life, please check it out. Please donate, even if you don't oh, check it out. Don't forget Kyle Emblem on Wednesdays as well. Oh, yeah, PM. Kyle he's, Emblem on Wednesdays. Like, he's up to like episode eight or nine. He's, he's steaming through that game, yeah. having a great time. Uh, and Monday, I'll uh, probably have another stream out of my studio testing things out because, boy, did it not go great last monday because old games don't like to run well um and until then i have been will i uh, you can find me hunt 270 on twitter that person over there has been ian gibson you can find him at think gibson on twitter you can find all of our content subpixel team on twitter youtube facebook instagram twitch not mixer until then have a great have a great night stay spooky Bye. Bye.